Welcome to the Mindful Warrior Within podcast, the space where we delve into the profound wisdom of warrior quotes. I am your host, Carlos. Welcome to episode 20 titled, From Ordinary to Warrior, Daily Choices for a Resilient Life. The quote we will look at today is from Carlos Castaneda, and it goes like this. We choose whether to be warriors or to be ordinary. Let's take a dive into the profound meaning behind this quote, and more importantly, how can we embody the warrior spirit in our everyday lives? Now, as you may know, unless you live under a rock, you know how crazy the world is getting, right? And we are at war on every front. Any front that you can think of, we are at war. We need We need warriors now more than ever. Courageous warriors, courageous people that stand tall in the face of evil. But what does that mean, you may ask? Now, I'm not asking you to go into physical war. Uh, That's not what I'm asking. You see, this is a spiritual war. And a war for our minds and souls. And, well, I just want people to wake up to wake up from the brainwashing and to think for themselves for once, to be empowered and to to grasp the meaning of what it means to be a warrior. You see, we are witnessing a rapid change in this world. And as you may have already noticed, a change in behavior, degradation of morals, and it's just absolute degenerates and people think, well, it's normal for our times and it's and times change and we, mu- we must adapt to change, right? Well, to a certain extent, that is true, but not when it comes to degenerate behavior and things where, dude, they want to legalize pedophilia. Do you know what that means? You, you mean to tell me that's normal? No, that's not normal. That is demonic. See, some of the things they are teaching little kids at schools, sexualizing kids at a very young age, hypersexualization is getting out of control. And the list goes on and on, right? And you may have heard this for a long time now, right? But it it seems to be getting worse. And violence seems to be increasing. It's just, it's getting a little bit out of hand. Now, I'm not here to preach no gospel or anything. I want people to wake up because the power lies with us, okay? So you see entertainment and all this crap that we see on TV, movies, music that we listen to, you see, it's all conditioning, right? And it and it subtly makes our subconscious mind start to accept these gross things as normal. And it's, you see, it's because it's an agenda, an agenda to brainwash, an agenda to depopulate, an agenda to make you a slave and to give up your rights your freedoms, your values. So, are you ordinary or or are you a warrior? You see, when you are in control, when you feed yourself, your soul with positive energy, with light, when you start on the road to growth and self-mastery, you start to become enlightened and you start to see things differently and you can detect things, you can detect danger, Things that are wrong, you become fearless and evil leaves you alone. And at the same time, it doesn't. Because you become a target when certain things, with certain things, and with other things, evil leaves you alone. And this is all because now you have God, the Creator, Source, Jesus, whatever you want to call Him, but now you have Him on your side because now you're, you're empowering yourself on all levels, okay, spiritually, more important. And things may not get easier, I'll tell you that much. And that is because evil will fear you. And because it will fear you, it will want you to stop. And it will want to discourage you and keep you down and throw even more obstacles at you. More so than normal. But don't let them win. Remember, we are powerful beings. And remember to view obstacles as catalysts for growth. And we will touch more on that later. But as you may know, the reason I chose to make this podcast is not just to put this message of growth and self-mastery out there, but to empower people. 
for people to be fearless in the face of evil, to be masters of themselves first, and to take courage. Why? Well, because when you start on this journey of growth and embracing the warrior spirit, it is then easier to take a stand and say no more. It is then easier to stand united as a collective and stop acquiescing our power to evil. But it all starts at an individual level. You see, and, and I have a message for both men and women. I'll start with men. See, men, embrace your true divine masculinity. Don't be soy boys, bro. Be what God intended for you to be. Be the protective warriors, lions, the leaders and providers that you are meant to be. Be the ones that stand tall in the face of evil. Be men. Don't be wimps. Be gentlemen. Protect your family. Be strong and courageous. Don't be the men that we see on TV. If, if you look at lo lots of these shows, um, so many shows portray men, the dad especially, as this wimpy, demasculinized, dumb individual. Don't watch that. Don't be that. Don't pay attention to that. You are better than that. Okay? Be the lion that you are supposed to be. Be the leader. Be the man. Don't be no soy boy. Don't be a wimp. And women. TV shows you that you are either not needing your husband or being slutty. You see, you need to embrace your true femininity. Your divine femininity. Be the spiritual protectors, the voice of reason, the divine feminine, the beauty and the strength behind men. Home is where the heart is, and the woman is the heart of the family. And as the heart of the family is what creates a home. She is the nurturer. She understands and sees the boundaries that men do not. You see, as fathers, we push our children to learn and grow and to be the best, but we often don't know where the boundaries are, when it's enough or too much. But a mother knows, a wife knows. You see, the unique balance of qualities that make us a man are the manifestation of the masculine of God and the feminine and the woman's the feminine of God, the qualities. That's what I mean. One is not greater than another. One is not under another or less powerful. To say that is to say that some qualities of God are lesser than other qualities. You see, men and women together is the perfect representation of God as a whole. Now, why am I talking about this? Because as society, society is trying to do away with that. Okay? They're trying to do away with the warrior spirit, with the divine feminine, with the divine masculine of both men and, and women. And in fact, they have probably destroyed it to a degree, right? And as you can see, we see we do see that. We we see, you cannot deny it, okay? And being a warrior is more than just trying to be tough, right? It's a long journey of self-discovery. You see, choosing to be a warrior is not just a decision, it's a mindset. It's a way of navigating life with intention and purpose. And they don't want people to be warriors. They don't want men embracing their divine masculinity. They don't want women embracing their divine femininity. They don't want people to be warriors because when people become warriors, the more and more, more people that do, they lose control. They lose power. And then we gain that power. As a matter of fact, we are in control. We are powerful beings, but people don't realize that. Pe people, for some reason, are just asleep and just go along with it. And, oh, yeah, the government or, you know, they'll take care of us. They, they know what's best, right? But do they really? You see, choosing to be a warrior is a way of life. It's a mindset, okay? Now, let's not forget why we are here, okay? Let, let's, let's go ahead and dissect the profound meaning behind these words and unravel the layers of choosing the path of the warrior over the ordinary. You see, Castaneda's quote is not a mere statement. It's, it's a challenge. It's a call to conscious living. It invites us to recognize that every day, every moment, that now, the, the present, 
every single moment we wield the power to shape our destiny. Because by choosing the warrior's path or set we're or settling for the ordinary, we're choosing a destiny, okay? So you choose either the warrior's path or you choose for settling down for, with the ordinary. Now let's let's delve more into this into this wisdom. Because choosing to be a warrior, it's about adopting a mindset, okay? It's a way of pro, of approaching your life with intention, with courage and resilience. Thanks that society or the system, whatever you want to call it, those in control, do not want from you because they want you to be a slave. In the grand arena of existence, that battlefield is not external. It's within the confines of our minds and the choices that we make. And to embark on the warrior's journey, the first step is to define your personal warrior code. And we talked about this in an earlier uh, episode. And this isn't some hardcore, rigid set of rules, okay? It, it's a guide that reflects your values, your aspirations, and the unique essence of your being. Craft a set of principles, okay, that resonate with you, with your soul, and it, this becomes a code that becomes your compass in navigating life, right? The ups and downs and the waves and everything. It becomes your compass. You need to consider qualities that embody the warrior spirit, like courage, integrity, and compassion. And these are often at the core. But you need to define how these principles manifest in your actions and decisions. So remember, on this journey, you have to make a pact with yourself. No one else, okay? You make a pact with yourself to live by your code. So for instance, if courage is a key element, your warrior code might involve facing fears head on, okay? Embracing challenges and maybe standing tall uh, in the midst of uncertainty, right? That you become fearless. You acknowledge your fears, but you still work through it. That That's what makes you fearless. So maybe that's part of your warrior code. Remember, your warrior code is a personal declaration. And, and it's not about conforming to external expectations. It's about aligning the authentic beat of your heart, okay? And, and when you define that warrior code, visualize it. Visualize it as, as, as something that you wear out in, in the public, in the battlefield that we are all in. You see, it's, it's a shield that guards your authentic true self. It's this sword. It's a warrior sword that cuts through your enemies, okay? And people today need to embrace a warrior code for themselves. You see, as the war world is changing and as the world is um, coming into this new age, we need to we we need to become leaders. We need to become um, masters, and the world will need that. Do we really want those in control now to continue to be the leaders and? the masters, right? What have they done? Or do we want people taking the lead at a community, at a communal level, at, 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 your, at a local level, ta taking the lead and, and helping humanity grow as a collective? You see, choosing to define your warrior code, it's, it's a profound act of self-discovery, okay? It's not just a practical step. It's recognizing that the warrior within is, um, it is not a certain arc, like this, arc, this, this type of warrior that's predetermined for you, okay? It, it's a canvas that's waiting for your unique expression. And you need to embrace this journey of self-discovery, uh, self-definition, because when you do, you will watch as the warrior within you 
begins to awaken and what it evolves into. Because it begins with defining who you are and what you stand for. Because you alone define your own path. No one can do that for you. And whatever path you choose, make sure that it's a path that embraces the good. That embraces uh, qualities that will help propel humanity to a new level. Now let's let's go a little bit deeper into the wisdom of um of this quote of Car- Carlos Castaneda or Carlos Castaneda exploring the essence of choosing to be warriors over being ordinary. Now let's let's start to unwind the profound layers, okay, of embracing the warrior within and how to shed the ordinary armor that weighs us down. You see we live we have been set up, conditioned to accept life the way it is and it becomes ordinary for us and and the system weighs us down and doesn't want us to be warriors, to be extraordinary, okay? It wants us to be ordinary, to keep the system going, to be more cogs for the machine. But Castaneda's words echo the call to awaken the dormant warrior spirit within us. To embrace this path is not just a decision. It's a it's a shift in perspective, not just a shift, a radical shift, okay? It's it's a commitment to living authentically as we have put it before and it's not an easy path because society either wants you to be one of them to be ordinary and brainwashed. But imagine The ordinary armor we often unconsciously don, okay, that we put on unconsciously. And it's it's not visible to the eye, right? But it's a collective of beliefs, habits, fears that hold us captive in the realm of the commonplace in society. And what we need to do, we need to shed this armor. Because that's the second practical step on our journey to embracing the warrior within. is shedding this this illusion. Okay? You need to shed the illusion. Ordinary armor is the accumulation of societal expectations. And and self-doubt comes with that. And this illusion of security and, and, and the conformity of what we have perceived as being this... This place that safeguards us, okay? And and it becomes the it's the reluctance of stepping into the unknown. Um, but that becomes the ordinary, right? And and we're then we become afraid to challenge the status quo and to face the uncomfortable truths about ourselves. All of that, that's the ordinary. But to shed the ordinary armor, it, it begins by identifying these layers. Of our true essence. And these layers include self-limited beliefs. The need for external validation. Right? Everyone wants someone to approve of them. Or the fear of failure. That's a big one. Acknowledge them without judgment. This is the first crack in the ordinary armor. Because when you share this armor. It, it's a mindset shift. That's what I want people to understand. You need, you need to create this mindset for yourself program your mind every morning every day okay shift your mindset it's a paradigm shift but not everyone is able to handle it now consider the following what beliefs or habits are you holding on to that keep you locked in to the ordinary now it could be the belief that maybe taking risks is perhaps dangerous or how about the habit of seeking approval before maybe pursuing your passions. You need to reflect on these things. You need to recognize them. And when you do so, what do you start doing? Well, you start you start shedding the armor because you're recognizing, hey, what's holding me back, right? What's keeping me locked into this matrix? So when you start when you recognize this, you start to shed that armor. See, shedding the ordinary armor is an act of courage. 
is choosing to break free from the illusion of of safety right quote, quote unquote and never taking risks that could take your life to the next level because you're stuck in conformity but picture p picture the warrior okay a warrior a powerful warrior on the battlefield what's the most effective armor that a warrior could wear is it this big heavy un impenetrable wall uh, armor that he's wearing where he can't even hardly move or is it an armor that allows agility and flexibility it's the latter right because in the same way shedding the layers of what's called or we perceive as ordinary it allows you to move li through life like water and to be authentic now what about specific actions like hey what can i do to shed this armor okay well again remember it's a mindset shift okay take a moment to challenge a belief that has been holding you back if you believe you are not good enough good enough you you will not be good enough okay explore evidence to the contrary shift your mindset so what can you do hey reach out to friends reach out to family get their perspective on things and why well because they friends and family they will see strengths in us that we can't that we overlook remember society does not want you to be great especially men they want you to believe that you are not good enough and make you feel dumb again we we mentioned this at the beginning just look at some tv shows right how do they always look make men look like the dad right always looks stupid or in action movies right they 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 show um masculinity as, as someone with like this you know have muscles bulging out of their eyeballs and all of that like it's either one extreme or the or or the other there's no fine balance there's no fine tune it's a brainwashing that you are not good enough and if you're seeking approval, if seeking approval is part of your ordinary armor, well, practice doing something solely for yourself. And it could be pursuing a hobby, expressing your creativity, setting boundaries that align with, with your well-being, embracing the discomfort that might arise. You see, it, it's a sign that you're shedding the layers that no longer serve you your armor is becoming lighter and now you can now you can flow through life like water and be more authentic because the warrior within is not encumbered by the weight of societal expectations or the self-imposed limitations right there's all these expectations from society don't let that hold you down you're more than that or these limitations that you impose on yourself. No, you, you, you got to start somewhere, bro. And when, when, when you let go of all that, when you shed all this unnecessary armor, you start to move with fluidity. You become more fluid. You become more authentic. You become unburdened, uncared by the ordinary. And then you shed these layers. And when you do, notice how you will notice you will notice how your perception of the world and yourself transforms and i've been noticing it myself okay you start to notice enlightenment colors are more vivid your possibilities become more expansive and your dreams your dreams become more exotic I'm talking about dreaming, not daydreaming, right? Like dreaming at night when you're asleep, your dreams become more exotic. And why is that? Well, that is because you start to free yourself from this matrix. You see, many will, will say, people like Andrew Tate or others will say that to escape this matrix, you need money. You need money to escape your nine to five. And while that may be true to an extent, it doesn't truly set you free. If your mind is still trapped, what's the point, bro, of having all of this money, but
of still being trapped in the matrix. If your heart and your soul and your beliefs are still trapped, if your mind is still trapped, then what's the point? Escape first with your mind. Because your mind is powerful. That is why they attack your mind first. Right? That's why they attack our minds. Because that's what keeps us enslaved. You see, they attack our minds, our hearts, our souls, because that's what keeps us enslaved. It doesn't matter how much money you have. You're still trapped inside the damn matrix. Right? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you free your mind. Okay? Now listen carefully. Free your mind from this matrix. Liberate yourself from this form of enslavement. Don't focus on things that are empty and hollow. And watch how everything else will follow. This shedding is not a one-time event, okay? It's a continuous process. The warrior within evolves with each layer shed, revealing a truer, more resilient self. You need to embrace this journey, okay? This, if you're on this journey, if you truly, truly want to grow, truly want to master yourself and be on this journey of, of embracing the warrior spirit, you need to truly embrace it, okay? You need to embrace it by being curious and being kind to yourself because in shedding the ordinary armor, you are not just choosing to be a warrior okay when you shed the ordinary armor you are not just choosing to be a warrior you are becoming one because they don't want you to be a warrior they want you to have this belief of what a warrior should be but a warrior is more okay a warrior is a powerful individual that does not care about the ordinary that this matrix uh, wants you to believe that you need to have. Now, imagine on the battlefield of life, okay, where there's always challenges, okay, and there's this new challenge that appears. And it could be anything from something happening to work to a personal trial. Now, in the ordinary world, how do ordinary people see challenges? They see them as obstacles, right? Great, a roadblock. Great, what am I going to do now? Right, a, a, an obstacle that can throw us off course now. But here's the secret of the warrior. Challenges are not just hurdles. And we've always talked about this because I, just, I want people to understand. I want people to really grasp what I'm trying to say here. Like I, I want people to really understand that obstacles are not just hurdles. They are catalysts for transformation. Okay. And we, we've continually talked about this, but it, it's okay. I will continue to do so until more and more people start to understand that don't, that, you know, don't let these obstacles, you know, or negativity or whatever it is, hold us down. It, it, and it, and yeah, just let go through it, okay? But don't live your life like that. Don't live your life just uh, held down by obstacles or negativity. Just go through, go through the emotions, control your emotions, be in control. You are your master. And you know, practicing, uh, I've been practicing um, a lot of the stuff that I've been learning myself. And of course, I'm not perfect. I'm not the perfect warrior. But I've been learning and I've been growing and I'm sharing this with you because I want people to see and to understand that when we become warriors, we become, when we become in control, they no longer have power or dominion over us because you start to recognize that you are your own sovereign being and you can escape the matrix with your mind and you start to find ways, you start to attract ways and, and methods on how to do so, on how to... Uh, then get out and and be the sovereign that you're supposed to be and then you start to attract these ideas right and, and i want people to embrace that i want people to see that they are not in control but we are as a collective as a collective we are in control right people complain and 
about everything happening in their in their countries, like in Europe. You know, everything is happening with the migrants showing up in Europe or even in in North America. But people complain and want government to change. But it's not up to the government. It's up to us. You can complain as much as you want, but we need to start at a local level. We need to start at a local level, right? Find or create communities of like-minded people. Gather together and start to create change. It's not up to politicians. It's up to us. We need to stop relying on politicians. Right? So practical step number three is a game changer. So we need to turn the challenges into catalysts. Okay, so all these challenges that we're seeing around us in the world or at an individual level that we're talking about in this podcast, we need to um, transform them or turn them into catalysts. You see, in the ordinary mindset, a challenge is this insurmountable mountain. Okay, and, and I get it. It can become intimidating at first, overwhelming, and then we start to question, why me? Now, you need to shift your perspective and adopt the mindset of a warrior. Because instead of asking yourself, what, why, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this, uh, this challenge as a catalyst for my personal and spiritual growth? And you can transform this into even a higher level you know, for, for your country, Right? Why is my country going through this? What can I learn from this? How can I help my country uh, become even better? Right? So start at a local at a local level. These challenges. Turn challenges into catalysts because it's it's a profound shift in perception. It's a profound paradigm shift. And it's it's the art of seeing adversity not as a roadblock but as a stepping stone. Okay, so let's take a look at some practical steps that you can do to turn challenges into catalysts. And we've talked um, about a few uh, before, but I just want to bring them back up because I, I know, right, everyone's busy and we forget. But we, we need to just really ingrain this into our hearts and minds because, uh, number one, let's start there, st- uh, practical step number one. Every challenge carries a lesson. So you need to embrace this lesson. The warrior's first move is to embrace the lesson. Understand what the challenge is teaching. Because it could be a lesson about resilience, patience, or the importance of adapting to change. You see, the warrior doesn't just face challenges. They learn from them. Number two, you need to transform your fear into fuel. Fear comes with challenges, right? And the warrior, we know how to transform fear into fuel because instead of being ordinary and being paralyzed by fear, we need to use that as an energy to face a challenge head on. We need to picture fear as a fire that can either consume you or light your way. Number three, set intentions. Warriors don't passively face challenges. They set intentions, okay? So what do you intend to gain from overcoming this challenge? You need to set clear intentions because when you do so, you navigate the storm with purpose, okay? Remember, everything that we do needs to have a purpose and it transforms the challenge into a conscious choice for growth. Number four, you need to seek guidance. You see, in the warrior's journey, Seeking guidance is a sign of strength. It's not weakness, okay? Don't hesitate to seek guidance from mentors, uh, friends, or even your own winner, inner wisdom. Because turning challenges into catalysts, it involves different perspectives um, and, and insights, different, different ideas from different paradigms. And don't forget to celebrate your victories, okay? No matter how small. Because when, when you're facing a challenge, celebrating your victories, no matter how small or how big, is important. Because if you don't, then depression will kick in. Okay, and you need to ap- appreciate your self-worth. You need to learn to appreciate your self-worth. Every victory, you need to 
cel and uh, celebrate. And I'm not talking about oh going and um, you know, getting drunk and celebrate or whatever. Like you know, just feel good about yourself. Celebrate it. Talk good to to yourself, right? Talk good about yourself because then you start to embrace your yourself and you value yourself more. So this becomes a catalyst for significant change because you you start to ingrain positivity for yourself. Turning challenges into catalysts is shifting from this victim mentality of oh poor me to a warrior mentality okay well what can I learn from this because it's not about denying the difficulty of the challenge it's about using that difficulty as a launch pad for personal evolution and in this grand tapestry of life challenges are not roadblocks okay so it I'm, I'm always saying this but it, it's true they're not roadblocks so when life throws a challenge your way, remember, it might just be setting the stage for your next victory. Okay? So become become the captain of your own ship. Now let's continue into uh, Castaneda's profound teachings. Let's consider the warrior's impact on the world. Right? Because this is where the ripple effect of your choices as a warrior becomes a force that transforms not just your life, but the lives of everyone around you. Because picture this, okay, you're a pebble. Imagine, you're a little pebble that gets thrown into the pond, okay? And, and we're all in this pond of existence. The ordinary mindset might see the splash, okay? The ordinary mindset might see the splash. But the warrior understands the power of the ripple. So practical step num number four is a key it's a key move in the warrior's playbook, the warrior's ripple, right? Because you, every choice that you make sends ripples through the fabric of reality. Now let's dive into the practical steps of, of the warrior's ripple. Number one, conscious choices. Now, remember we've talked about being strategic and having a purpose making choices with purpose purposeful choices warriors don't just make choices in this helter skelter kind of way we are not disorganized okay every decision is a conscious act that considers the impact that it will have in the realm of the warriors ripple the first step is to make your choices with awareness and with purpose you need to pause before decisions you need to um, consider the potential impact and you need to choose consciously number two intentional presence because being being a warrior is not a passive bystander in the theater of life man you know some of the some of the videos that I have seen on 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 Twitter or now X um, where you know some of these individuals attacking people in in Europe you know this this hatred towards white people um, and, and they attack and then there's bystanders they're just you know just watching not doing anything not protecting or right, men especially right they're not doing anything like the very very small minority and I and I I, I tip my hat to those to that small minority that actually do want to do something but you know the majority they're just these passive bystanders just filming what's going on and not helping the individual being attacked, right? Because everyone has this attitude, well, if it doesn't affect me, why should I care? But you see, that's where intentional presence comes into play, not being a passive bystander. And that's at a physical level, emotional level, also a spiritual level, in every way. Because intentional presence is about being fully engaged in each moment, okay? Recognizing that your energy and your attitude sense ripples, right? You, you see someone in, in danger, do, do what you can. Of course, don't put your life in, in danger because then how can you help the individual, right? But be smart about it, you know, like um, be, be courageous, uh, apprehend the individual doing the assaulting and, and send, send a wave of this warrior ripple across existence right 
Well, what about internally? What, what about mentally, emotionally? Well, do an experiment, okay? Be the most negative person you can be for one day towards everyone and everything. See how you feel and what happens at the end of the day. The next day, play the counterpart, okay? Be super positive, as positive as you can be towards everyone and everything and see what happens and how you feel. Now, they might want to put you <laughs> into a mental institution after the second day. But the point that I'm getting at is, you see, whether you're at work with family or interacting with strangers, you need to bring an intentional presence to create positive ripples. And that, that even includes um, standing up to those that are being bullied, standing up for righteousness and and standing up for truth okay and and just being being the warrior that you are meant to be and I'm talking especially to men with intentional presence here of course women also play an important role but men are the ones right now that are being attacked because we are supposed to be the protectors and the leaders okay now, kindness multiplier. Number three, kindness is a powerful multiplier in the warrior's ripple effect. A kind word, a kind gesture of support, a small act of generosity, it creates ripples that extend far beyond the initial interaction, right? Because imagine the impact of a pebble creating a symphony of ripples across the entire pond. So do your best to be like Jesus. Do your best to be a true warrior okay number four inspire by example lead by example we don't just preach warriors don't just preach they inspire by example they lead by example you see your actions are the pebbles that create these ripples right and others they watch and they learn right you're being watched like when people when people will start to notice right and they start watching you if you navigate challenges with grace handle adversity with resilience and approach life with a warrior spirit you become a living example that inspires those around you you need to lead by example be a leader be a lion be a warrior number five empower others so again the warrior doesn't just oh this is all mine you know i'm not going to share what i've learned they empower others to find their own you see in the ripples in the warrior's ripple empowering others this is a conscious choice and it could be through mentorship encouragement or even acknowledging the strengths you see in those around you right you're like hey bro you did a really good job with that or you know like oh that that's that that's an awesome looking car you know like a like it, do something positive right encourage others uh, something that you see a strength in other people like like oh you're you're a really good speaker you're really good at this you're really good at that well you're an awesome carpenter etc whatever it may be right i know my examples <laughs> are not the best right now but you know what i'm uh what i'm getting at because when you when when you send um this wave of positivity in other people's lives you again you become this inspiration for others right so when you empower others you're contributing to the ripple effect of the collective strength and that is what we want and that is what we need if we want to see true change in this world we need to empower others you see the essence of war of the warrior's ripple is understanding the interconnected nature of our lives your choices, your energy and attitude uh, don't exist in isolation, okay? They send ripples. Energy, it, man, it, it travels. Your Everything that you do sends ripples that touch the lives of friends, of families, of, of colleagues, and even strangers. The warrior is aware of this. And the warrior becomes a steward of positive influence, all right? It's not just some isolated individual you know like um not caring not giving a damn about what's happening in the world you need to work towards making a positive influence in your life and in the lives of others now let's address a crucial aspect the responsibility okay that comes with the warrior's ripple. 
the warrior understands that even the smallest, the smallest pebble can create powerful ripples. And with this understanding comes a commitment to making choices that contribute positively. Okay, so imagine a workplace where each colleague is a pebble creating all of these ripples everywhere of collaboration and support. Okay, or envision a family where the ripples of love and understanding create a harmonious environment, right? When, and one family member starts to get all negative and, and everything or sad, it starts, the negative starts, the, the energy starts to spread and people start to get a little discomforting, right? They start to feel a little, you know, not, not, not at ease. Okay, hey, what's going on, right? So the warrior's ripple is not just individual, an individual practice. It's a collective moving, movement. It's this movement towards a more compassionate and empowered world, right? So I need you, I gave that example of, you know, someone feeling sad and sending all this energy, this negative energy in the family because I need you to understand how how powerful energy is. You, you start to feel it. You start to notice it. So be the warrior and help, help, right? Help the person because you, you don't need and you don't want that energy, right? You want to get rid of that. Again, because we want a more empowered world. And this isn't weakness. This is strength. Showing kindness is strength. Don't let no one tell you otherwise. Now, warriors, as you navigate the choices of your day, remember that the ripples you create, whether they are intentional um, or or the conscious choices, I should say, that you make and some choices, whether they're intentional or not, you need to understand the sense ripples. OK, so be intentional, be kind, be inspiring and empower individuals around you because your impact like ripples on a pond, it, it, it extends beyond what you can see immediately. It is this legacy of positive influence that shapes the world one ripple at a time now i'm not saying like oh yeah i go and be super positive and be a cheerleader yay like like be be what i mean is be, be positive right D but don't be negative don't be neutral but you you know be be the change that the world needs to see okay um be the warrior it, it all starts with you remember to you need to free your mind from this matrix, okay? Don't be trapped in this form of enslavement. So it's all a mind shift, okay? Being a warrior is a mind shift. And it, it, it takes so much. Some of you are like, may, may think like, oh, man, I can't do this. It, it's so much work. Well, take baby steps, micro steps. You got to start somewhere, okay? Start somewhere one ripple at a time now as we start to draw the curtains on this episode reflect on castaneda's words we choose whether to be warriors or to be ordinary and as we draw the curtains uh, as the curtains draw closer we will step into the heart of our odyssey here and this is where we translate the profound teachings into more actionable steps. Okay, so let's break down. Um, let's break down this pivotal this pivotal step into actionable insights. Practical step number five: insights that will weave into the fabric of your daily life. Okay, um, because don't. Don't set um, standards for yourself. Like don't don't set these 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 standards. Don't put these standards so high that no one can reach. Okay, you got to start somewhere. Don't 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 put the bar so high. You, you remember, take micro steps. Take one step at a time. Don't expect to do all of these following steps all at once. Choose one and work at it until it becomes a habit, and then move on to the next one. So the first thing 
Number one, mindful awakening. Now, what the hell is mindful awakening? You may be asking yourself. Well, well the warrior begins the day not necessarily with a mechanical routine, but with a mindful awakening. Right? Some of you may hit the snooze button and go back to sleep for another 5, 15 minutes or whatever. And then you rush into your day. But take a moment to be present. Okay? Feel the awakening of your senses. Acknowledge the gift of a new day. Acknowledge the gift of life. Another chance that you've been given to be with your loved ones, to be a better person. Okay, so acknowledge it. What can you do? You uh, just be present, and you can tell yourself affirmations like, "I, I am, I am a powerful king. I am a powerful warrior. You know, I am po powerful influence on positivity. I, I attract powerful things into my life. I attract abundance into my life. I am a powerful king." Right and, and and start to or queen right if you're if you're a lady a girl woman listening to this, uh, start by acknowledging by being present. Number two, conscious alignment. Every warrior choice is aligned with your core values. You see, as you navigate your day, be conscious of your choices of the choices that you are making. Because are they in alignment with the warrior you choose to be, with the warrior code? Remember we talked about defining your warrior code. Well, are these choices that you're making, are they in alignment with the warrior that you choose to be? Or are they veering into the territory of the ordinary, of complacency, of being stuck in the comfort zone? It's a moment-to-moment -moment conscious alignment. It's difficult at first. Yes. It is, but it is well worth it. Number three, integrity check. The warrior's path is one of integrity. Okay, Daily warrior choices involve a check on your integrity compass. Are your actions in alignment with your values and principles? Because it's not just about doing the right thing when it's convenient, okay? And that's the problem with society. Oh, only when it's convenient do they do the right thing. Only if it affects them personally, right? It's about making it a daily commitment to uphold your integrity. Not only when it's convenient, okay? Because then you're not being a true warrior. It, 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 it's about being this... Being conscious about your your integrity, your values, and your principles. What do you stand for? Number four, you need to pause and breathe, right? And life is life is busy. We all get that. So the warrior knows the power of a pause. Reflect, and we've talked about this before. You know, re pause, reflect, take a breather, right? Um, incorporate moments of conscious breathing into your into your day heck take a, a, a YouTube right a search on YouTube um, breathing exercises if you want right and, and it could be maybe even a sh short breathing again exercise a, a moment of stillness um, or maybe even just um, knowing that you know you're grateful for your family or the things that you've been given just just anchoring yourself in the present, okay? It will help you to make warrior choices, better choices. Because we, we need our minds need to reset from time to time during the day. It's so busy, right? Dopamine hit after dopamine hit after dopamine hit after dopamine hit. You know, social media, work, life, everything. So you need to pause and breathe. And then comes gratitude. Num step number five. The warrior's heart is infused with gratitude. You need, to, you need to take moments each day to acknowledge the blessings in your life. Right? And it could be the warmth of the sun, the smile of a loved one, the smile of your kid, of your wife, of, of, your, uh, of your parents. Uh, it could be the simple fact that you have another day to live. Gratitude becomes the 
feel that that's love becomes a feel that that pushes you towards making better warrior choices so be grateful okay pause and breathe check your integrity conscious alignment and mindful awakening take your time to practice with each of these steps right take take your time with each of these don't don't expect to do them all at once remember small yet impactful choices are the ones that shape your character these choices are woven into the tapestry of your day and they become the expression of the warrior within and these daily warrior choices are the moments where you choose courage over comfort integrity over expediency resilience over resignation and it, it's about showing up fully in your life it's about embracing em embracing these challenges okay with a, with the spirit of the warrior and the ordinary person will see choices as these tasks uh, as these heavy burdens and well yes some choices can be very heavy and burdensome but we need to recognize them as building blocks of destiny because our life your life is a culmination of the choices that you make and the warrior's perspective transforms each choice into this conscious act of empowerment right and and there's a there seems to be a misconception as well that choices need to be perfect but no these daily choices are not about perfection they are about intention because it's not about avoiding mistakes it's about learning from them and this warrior's path this journey of growth will always have we will always be growing we will always be making mistakes but we always need to be learning and as you embrace the essence of the of these warrior choices or the warrior spirit know that you are the artist and i keep saying that i have kept saying that in the last couple of episodes right you hold the brush that will paint the canvas of your life you hold the brush to create a masterpiece and the warrior within you is confined in your mind inside of you and in the choices that you make because that will define your character now in the next episode we will delve into another profound quote we will unravel its layers and we will explore how it can be a guiding light on your warrior's path and as we draw the curtains to today's episode i I want to thank you for joining me on this odyssey. And if the information shared today resonated with and or helped you in any way, I encourage you to support the Mindful Warrior Within podcast by engaging and giving feedback because this makes a significant impact on our mission to empower individuals to lead lives imbued with the warrior spirit. Remember to like this video and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. Remember to share this podcast with others who are on their journey of growth and empowerment. Follow us on social media to stay connected with the Mindful Warrior community and receive updates on new episodes and content. And remember, may your battles be fierce, your victory sweet, and your journey one of continuous growth. Until our paths cross again, keep embracing the warrior spirit.